Just, uh, yeah. What up, is Cam, and welcome to Alan Wake 2. The, f the game is finally here. I'm so excited to play this. I've been waiting for so long for this game. I, I actually can't believe it's here. I've been waiting for so fucking long for this game. I'm sorry, I'm just really excited. So I'm going to jump into it because I'm too excited. I just, I just really need to play this game. Also, I don't know what difficulty I just picked. I'm so excited, I just might have just picked up. Easy mode. Back to the beginning. I never play in easy mode. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't come to a story with hopes and expectations, oh. looking for an answer. Exciting. Sometimes it would be better to live with that hope without ever knowing the full story. What a handsome man he is. Great facial features. In a horror lake. story, there are only victims and monsters. And the trick is not to end up as either. But trapped by the genre, we are all ripped to pieces along the way. Oh. The dead deer. This is not the story I hoped it would be. This is not the ending I wanted. This story will eat us alive. This story is a monster. And monsters wear many faces. I genuinely can't believe I'm playing this game. After all this time waiting for this game, I'm finally playing it. Oh my god. Fuck's sake, I'm, just, I'm too excited. I can't, my hands can't sit still. Oh. Hello. Oh, Harry Fat Man is coming out of the river. <laughs> oh, nice pair of butt cheeks. <laughs> He's got Bunda. Look at his Bunda. <laughs> He's got Bone down his bummy, bummy. All that ass. So this is me, okay. Oh. Hello. Are you searching rescue? Also, why am I naked? Why am I naked in the middle of the forest coming out of a lake? Many things need to be answered here. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get them answered very soon. I can't see anything. It's so fucking dark. I can't see. Oh no, I can see now. Oh, because I light, I can see a little bit. Oh, fuck. Hell, bloody dear. Jesus. Oh my fucking god! Ew, <laughs> <laughs> bastard of a game. Fuck's sake. Still coming. Oh, okay, I'm going up. Oh, no, I'm going backwards. Oh my god, where the hell do I go? Oh, there we go. Oh my god, my vision's terrible. Can I not run? Oh, I can run. Uh, is this me running? I don't know the distance between walking and running on this dude. Like, it feels like. Oh, it's a house. <laughs> what was that in front of me? can properly see. Where am I going? Oh, I'm going somewhere I cannot see. What the fuck is that? These aren't human noises. Oh! Oh, 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 um, uh oh, oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, oh, this way. Ow! Ah! Shot at me! <coughs> what a dick! Give me a go. Basic maneuvers. Basic maneuvers. Dodge the bullets. Oh, shit. Well, you can't dodge that, can you? Oh! Some like sacrifice. Am I being sacrificed to the gods? Look, you see his penis. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Free Willy. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. I'm sorry. It's a nice view of a lake. I'm really excited for this. I might be overexcited a little bit, maybe. So, the wait has been too long for this game. Hey, kiddo. Oh, How that's my alarm you? to go off. Sorry. I'm good, Mom. How are you? This trip might take a little longer than I thought. I'm sorry I've been gone so much lately, Logan. Oh my God, Mom! It's not your fault. People get all murdery. Murdery. I never heard that. anyone call that murder murder. Well, <laughs> get all murdery. So Your mum might get no murdery. I'll let you get back to the show. You were supposed to wait and watch with me. I love you both. This is what happens when you go on work trips, mom. Oh. Love you too. Oh. And say hi to Casey. Tell him to stop brooding so much. Logan. I will. Bye, kiddo. Oh, that guy looks like a bloody murderer. His face. That just screams he's gonna stab me soon. <laughs> Snarky kid. Wonder where she gets that from. In sync coffee sipping. It can't be a coincidence that another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Yeah, we're wearing a Christmas sweater. The killer's leaving us a message. Mm. It's almost Christmas soon, actually. I'm it's Halloween. You're on this case with me. Fucking Anderson. tomorrow, isn't it? Or right in two days' time. You should take lead. Think of me as the backup. Can't wait for trick or treaters to knock on my door. Okay. And go trick or treat. Any words and of advice? Bang! Bash him down the stairs. <laughs> Oh god, there's something wrong. I'm when I get excited, I just I'm just ah, Here we are, Cauldron Lake. Time to get to work. FBI. Oh, with the big dogs. The big dogs. FBI, FBI fucking open up, motherfucker. Oh, this is such a shit. Eaten by a bear. I'll check out that map. Invitation. The map. Ah! Oh, this place is big. Okay. I think I hear someone. I'm not walking all the way back Could now. be our deputy. Ah! Over here. Sheriff! Hey there. Agent Casey, right? 
Sheriff Breaker said you'd be coming by to take over the He's got a great set of vocals. I love his voice. Anderson. Saga Anderson. I'll be leading this case. Exactly. You know my Move out the way, Alex sir. Casey. Please, I want to investigate the corpse. Sorry about Please. that, ma'am. I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that, you know, that, uh... Federal agents right here, Thornton. My partner Thornton, <laughs> down Thornton. at the crime scene. Yeah, what a great name. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. Right here? What do you mean? I think it was you. Oh, shit. They didn't hear me, did they? No, we didn't hear a thing. What can you tell us about the crime scene? Tell about the heart. I was getting to that, Thornton. Well, we reckon there are some uh, organs that are currently outside the victim's person when they should be, well, you know, inside. <laughs> inside. Mm. Thank you. Were there any witnesses? Yeah, a couple out of towners. I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at night. Oh, Not that we have anything against city folk, cried Thornton. But don't worry. Sheriff Breaker took him back to town a while ago. Okay. I want to see the body. How do we get there? Oh, sure. That's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the old convenience store. You can't miss it. Everything's been closed since the area was fenced off. The store, the campground, all of it. Got it, yep, please, uh, thank you very much, sir. I forgot his name already, I do, I do apologize. Before we get to the crime scene, there's time it's to review terrible with names. So I'm not gonna forget the name I Thornton, though. Thornton's a great name. Case board. Oh. The mine place. My version of the mine palace technique. To sift through oh, clues and work the case. Okay. Building the mine place again for each case. Using each field office as a model in my head. Oh, this the is quite cool. Everything we know about the previous murders. Worth taking another look. Ah. Okay. I see your. I like that a lot. Work, Anderson. Close to cracking it. We're just getting started. Let's head down the hill to the crime scene. I like hey, that Casey. case board thing you obvious. You're That's pretty cool. Charge. So that you can Why pop now? things together. Well, yeah, so you got to find yeah. clues and then Better pop them together. And then you can find out what really happened. I mean, I can just tell you, you I know, know, I was just woke up dead. in a lake and I got my heart retiring? cut out. And my organs is You know what happens to cops who say this is board. their last case. Mm -hmm. Down we go. Okay, nature gives me a headache. It's a very beautiful Let's place die. in the daytime. See, forests are very nice Not doing a the daytime, but murdered. in the night, hmm. no, 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 no. They are not to be fucked with. Damn! Should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. The only thing around here that feels like home. You think the local law had the sense to put up a tarp? Oh, I hear Thorn. Oh, Thornton. Hello. Oh, there's a general store. can I make it, Mulligan? I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Got it. Hello. Deputy Thornton, I take it. That's me. Looking the wrong way. Service. Ready to get this case solved. Now the body's behind the store. Come on, I'll show you. Great mustache for those Thornton. Fair play, must have been going that for years. So, FBI, huh? Mm hmm. That's so cool. Hunting down psycho serial killers and shootouts oh. with the mob. Oh, that's why I talk on my flashlight. I thought B was the crouch. Thornton, What's the crouch then? You guys uh, oh. Okay, that's a dodge. Let's just see this body, shall we? 
Wait, what was that? The side of my screen. Oh, it's a. Ooh. Okay, what's this? Wonder what's inside. I should take a look around for a way to open this thing. Mm, we'll go back to that. Hi, right, there's the body. Now this is the scene of the crime. We found him on the table. Ooh. Now, he didn't touch nothing, you know. He looks very nice. Stuff. Thanks, deputy. No tarp. You owe me a coffee. Okay. Let's start by examining our guest of honor. Does this fit the end of, of the honor. previous murders? Body is positioned on the table. Ritualistic. Close. Ah. Another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Coincidence? Maybe. Ah. The killer left the heart right next to the body. Inside stab wound. Mm. Chest cut open. Heart removed. Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. So now we put these up. Oh, I like this a lot. Place your own like little clues. Oh, this is very satisfying. I don't know why. Heart removed from chest, strapped by the wrists. Definitely matches the previous murders. But this time the heart and the straps were left behind. More clues to work with. This makes four murders that we know about. Who is our victim? Who oh, killed him? Is... Need to find more clues. Large amount of blood on the table. The Multiple victim died friends? here. Multiple people were here. Multiple killers? Someone was drinking beer. They spent time here. Tripod. Waiting. With a vlog in a, in a YouTube hurry. tutorial how to dissect a fat over. man. Was it for a camera? Maybe they will. You never know. Some more clues. Uh the killers, right? Yeah. Boot prints. Indicating multiple killers for later quite the party Okay Did it say to ah Any idea who the victim is? Oh, I sure do his name is Nightingale. He was FBI. He came to town about 13 years ago Now I haven't heard a word about him since well, Until now Nightingale Robert Nightingale. Oh, yes you probably knew him. Brothers in arms. Oh, and sisters. Wait, so is is that him? So you knew our victim. Well, I it didn't is. recognize him in his current state. But yeah, Fuck, he put on some weight, didn't he? Times at Quantico. Never worked any cases together. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty quick after that. Interesting. Robert Nightingale, ex FBI, came to Bright Falls thirteen years ago. Hmm. Very interesting. They planned for the murder to happen here, passing the time with equipment ready. They were waiting for him. But why Nightingale? He's been missing for 13 years. Why here? Why now? Profiling. Get into the subject's head. 
see what they saw. Oh, that's a nice self you picked out as. Use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation. So that the selfie pic that it I took. I should be a photographer. Look at that. Oh, that's a pretty face. Agent Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. How did he end up here? Hey, what the fuck? Up from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. He was there too. You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. Robert Nightingale came from the lake before his murder. Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? Click the switch. It goes click. Lights are off. But somebody's home. Somebody's home. This wasn't some random act of violence. This was a ritual. A Nightingale a component. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. A container? So you mean that they stuffed him with something? The lake is connected to Nightingale somehow. Casey, let's take a look down by the lake. Lead the way. Sounds good. Uh, this way, right? Right. Okay. Well, I'll just uh, I'll just wait here. Yeah. Bye, Thorn. See you later. Don't get murdery. I think Nightingale came up from that direction, from the lake. Probably looking for shelter, safety. They were waiting for him in the lake, like in the water. I doubt it. It's not that complicated. Nightingale was out in the woods alone at night, possibly nude. The killers knew he was here, ambushed him. Dragged him to the campgrounds, strapped him to the table, cut his heart Ooh. out. But then they were interrupted. There's a piece of paper on the ground. I didn't know. Tr Tracks. Barefoot. Nighting. A page full of texts on one side. Not a printout. Written with a typewriter. Old school. Lines scratched out and edits added with a pen. Mm hmm like a manuscript. Page of a story. Hmm. Killer left a message. It's for us. The text is about us. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. And then there was a the page they found. The first step down into terrifying depths. Reading, reading the words. The words. These, These words, words felt like a message. Felt like a message. Someone knew they were here. Someone playing a game with them. An invitation. How could they not accept? Even, even if they, they knew it would end up hurting them. Mm hmm. Someone's been watching us. Playing a sick game with us. You were right. Maybe they still are watching this us. You never right know. This is right up my alley. Nightingale came this way. Either he dropped this page, or the killers left it for us. Yeah, they could still be watching us. You don't know. Back there. I think he came from the lake, but his tracks make no sense. I should profile Nightingale about this page. To do what? Ah, profiling. We found a page in the woods. A story about these events. What is Nightingale's role in this? I carry his words close to my chest now. Inside the awful truth, you must dig it out. Something was put inside him, in his chest. Ooh. I must find out what. Mm. 
found all I can here. Time to properly examine the body. See what I can find inside. Okay. Casey, I think something's been put inside Nightingale's body. Let's tell the deputies cool. to get the body Let's to the town up, then. Okay. Whoever wrote that page made sure it read like a story. Nope, that's not. Like a scene Wait, no, how do we get back up? I oh, all of it. that way. Ha, lol. The text said we'd find more. I believe it. But what's the purpose? They're twisting events to create their own narrative to do what? Entertain some fantasy? Projecting their desires? Are we characters or the audience? Witnesses to their design? All the above? It's all about control. Deciding what happens to who. Don't That's let it drag you in. Too late. I'm already hooked. I need the next chapter. Oh, I'm just gonna follow Casey. Okay. Well, I'll end up getting lost. It is. Oh wait, it's this way. Did you know this entire area is inside a caldera? This whole mountain used to be an active volcano. Imagine the force oh. it took to carve this crater out of the earth. Caldera is a pretty rare, so be sure to take it in. So essentially, we're standing in the gaping maw of hell. Hey, you got it. You yes, we are. Good. I used hey, to love geology when I was in school. I helped Logan build a great baking soda volcano for her science fair. Cheating on a science fair? That's almost a crime, Anderson. I'm not gonna say no to quality time with a volcano. Well, I am the low. I hope you didn't get stuck in any of those big puddles. Crazy flooding down there, huh? Just like I said. Yeah, I thought. Mm -hmm. I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination, ASAP. Well, sure. But the coroner won't be back in town for another week after Deerfest. Not a problem. I'll do it myself. Deerfest. Oh, and Sheriff Breaker called to say he's got the bookers at the Oh Deer Diner in town. Oh, and I've got a key to the gate. It's a shortcut back to the parking lot just up the hill. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. Bye, Thorn. Let's get the car. It's like I was Drive leaving Thorn all by we'll himself down here. The bookers. The diner, Something could right? easy happen to him. I don't want anything to happen to Thorn. I like Let's Thorn, though. Sounds good. It's a good it like a nice deputy. So Murders aside. Pretty woods. Cute lodge we got set up in. We should go for a hike if we get a chance. Now you're just being mean, Anderson. Deputies aren't exactly up to the task, but hopefully the sheriff will be more helpful. Not a surprise. Yeah, I will deputies. not be going for a hike in this neck of the woods. Can't Thank fit you. The clues all together yet. Heart removed. Tripod. Tracks leading to a dead end. A tripod for a camera. To record a snuff film? Maybe. And why take out his heart just to throw it away? To stuff in something for us to find. Here we are. Let's car? drive back to town and meet. Going back to Bright Falls. I can't get that manuscript page out of my head. I've never seen killers reach out so directly before. Damn impressive work so far. With your technique, these hunches were moving fast. I wasn't sure about taking a case so far from home, but I'm thrilled to be here for this mystery. Nice by the town. lodge to get anything from the field office? No, I'm all set. I'll park there anyway. I want to walk to the diner, get a feel for the town. I do like this little town. It's quite cozy. And there's two people dressed up as... The diner's just up the waterfront. Don't know. Shouldn't keep the sheriff. Oh, there's a diner. Waiting. I smell coffee. Hello. Just how much coffee have you had today, Charlie? <laughs> oh dear, diner. Oh, <laughs> That's a funny name. That's a great joke name. 
Hello, officer. <gasps> it's one of them for me. Guess. You should know. Welcome to Bright Falls. It's nice to have you here. I got you both some coffee. Oh, it's Washington's finest. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. I'm set for coffee. You know, I wouldn't say no to another. Oh. I'm I want a sip, Anderson. though. I want coffee. This is Agent Alex Casey. Tim Brinker. And let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. Frankly, we could use the help. Your deputies said you had a couple of witnesses here. They made them sound like suspects. Mulligan and Thornton are still on about that? No, no. The bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but you can decide for yourselves. They're just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. I'll see what they have to say. Casey, you compare notes with the sheriff. Take your time. Okay. I can't believe that happened. I still feel mm. like I'm gonna be sick. Come on, Ed. Didn't think everyone's eating apple pie. No, nope, she's on the phone. Excuse me. Hello. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. Are you the bookers? That's us. I'm Tammy, and he's Ed. Hello, officer. Just Saga is fine, Ed. So are we Ooh, being that charged? Pie does not look because good. if not, we'd love <laughs> to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Take a bath, scream into pillows, that kind of thing. We're not charging you. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about, okay? So what did you see in the woods? This naked dude came out of the lake and he was acting crazy, shouting weird shit at us. He must have been on something. Unless skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around here. Then we heard shooting. Could be. We ran into these psychos in gear masks. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives, like some kind of satanic cult. And then we bolted and called the cops. Okay. What makes you say it was a cult? <laughs> the masks and knives aren't enough. They were shouting, Cult of the tree. The cult of the tree. Cult of the tree. Oh, and then we found out. The whole thing was. Found a what? Terrifying. What did you find that you're hiding from the police officer? What were you doing at Colgen Lake last night? I'm a writer. True crime. We're here from New York, doing some research on a famous novelist, Alan Wake, who went missing here. I was down at the lake, getting some details. Perfectly legal. Okay. We got some new cases, yes we do. Do I... We're dealing with an organized group of killers, not a lone serial killer. I need to know more about the code of the tree if I'm going to shut them down. Okay. So this goes that. Profile. Let's profile these two. See what they're hiding. The cult of the tree. What aren't the bookers telling me? I found their necklace. The symbol is two triangles. The cult wants their spruce tree bag, Tammy. Finders keepers, Ed. My publisher will want this on the cover. Tammy found something. A necklace belonging to one of the cultists. Tap, 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 throw her in jail. Why? She's hiding quite back from me. That's not cool. They say the rider fell in the lake. Private party. No trespassing. My book has questions. Past the bolt cutters. They broke in for the sake of Tammy's book. Nothing to do with a murder. They were telling the truth. So you found something there, right? 
a necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow. How did you put that together? It's evidence. You I'm just a genius, you see. I'm just a very smart FBI agent. Told Thank you. you. Not to keep that thing, Jimmy. Thanks. This could prove to be helpful. Do me a favor. Stick around town for now in case we have any more questions. <laughs> like we'd even dream of missing dear Oh, God. Saga! Saga Anderson. As I live and breathe. Do I know you? I thought we'd Rose. never see you back here after that awful, awful thing happened to your baby girl. How are you? Um, I'm sorry. Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. It's me, silly. Rose. You know me. I don't think I nope. do. And what horrible thing happened to my baby girl? She drowned. Your daughter. That's so weird. You don't remember. How do you know I have a daughter? Oh, I know what this is. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. Happens on is TV she one of the cultists? The no. She seems a bit psychotic. You're mistaking me for something else. A little bit. Else. If you say so. Unless she's predicting the future that my child is going to be drowned, maybe? Hmm, interesting. All set. My guys have Nightingale at the morgue, if you're ready to go take a look. Let's go. Well, Casey, I got a lead. Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. The murder cult. Fuck. Have you heard of this <laughs> cult of the tree, Fuck. Sheriff? Only the urban Fuck land. indeed, you're Casey. In Fuck the indeed. Magic, that sort of thing. We're not gonna find out you're the Grand Wizard or something, are we? I played some D&D back in the day. Wizard was morning, always my Sheriff. favorite. Looks like you have some guests. Ah, uh, morning, Ted. Yeah, real important guests. Deerfest. Always draws a crowd, right? <laughs> Too true. More the merrier. Have a good one, Sheriff. Okay. Hey, what do you know about that waitress from the diner? <laughs> Rose? Yeah, she's a bit of a space case. She always has been. Why? Hmm. What'd she do now? She kept saying that my daughter drowned. She even knew my name. It was all very weird. Rose has a talent for saying the weirdest thing possible. But it's best not to take it personally. Who is very dark? Oh, I don't like it down here. Something about more. It's very eerie. Cheer me up. I can't say I feel the same. He's joking. Oh, there it is. There's the okay. body. Let's take a look at our patient. I'll start with the Ooh. external inspection before performing the internal examination. What was okay. the cause of death? Oh, what other clue? there's writing on here. Can't make yeah, they it wrote out. in his heart. Writing? How did they manage that? The body shows signs of being submerged in water post mortem. It doesn't add up. This looks like text. A tattoo? Nightingale didn't strike me as a tattoo guy. Aha. Uh -huh. They did leave something inside his chest. <laughs> this is grim. They put up a fight. Okay, so go back to the case board. Doesn't go there, does it go here? Ah. Time to see what Nightingale's body can tell us. Okay. I really do like this, it's quite satisfying. 
I don't know why I find it satisfying. It's just it's very good that they've done it this way. Like you put the clues together on the board like this. Why is that not working? Ah. Chest wound is cause of death, but the corpse is bloated, waterlogged. There's definitely something in his chest. Did the killers leave it there? Well, let's have a look. Let's open him up. Ooh. Oh, oh. I hate to do something like this in real life. He's awake now. Oh. Where is my weapon? Stay to like to avoid being detected by enemies, okay? My gun. He can't see me in the light. My gun's out in the hall. Gotta get it back. Uh, safe havens will restore some of your health. If you leave or attack from the safe haven while in combat, it will become temporarily Go. unavailable. Okay, come get my gun. You won't get my gun. There it is. Oh shit. Oh, right in the face! Oh, you got That was such a good chapter. Oh my days. I absolutely love that. He didn't have a heart, but he still got up. The page predicted all of it. It helped me fight him. Fine, I'm going to pop a these up. Turned into a monster. And then we're going to end it here. As a way to fight him. Pages predicting the future. There's no rational explanation. This is the case we must solve.
Okay. Think. Where goes that, isn't it? Okay. Right, okay, guys, so we're going to end the video here. So, hope you guys enjoyed me playing Alan Wake Chapter 1. We will try and upload every chapter every day. Hopefully, if I can do that. So, yeah. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.